For years on the night before Halloween, volunteers with groups like Detroit Blightbusters would spend hours patrolling the streets. But now here in 2021, it's a celebration. It's the night before Halloween inside the Artist Village on the west side of Detroit. And the party is in full swing, a much different scene than it was decades ago. In the 80s, uh, during a three-day period, then known as Devil's Night, there were over 810 fires across the city. Uh, film crews were flying in from around the world to literally watch ourselves burn ourselves down. John George is the executive director of the Detroit Blight Busters. A lifelong Detroit resident, he saw firsthand the destruction brought on by Devil's Night, along with longtime Channel 7 reporter Bill Proctor. It was the most difficult period of, for any reporter around the city of Detroit because it was pretty much nonstop for three days. Proctor spent three decades at Channel 7. He and his crew would camp out at fire stations on the east side of the city and watch as the fire department tried to keep up. The firefighters were pretty much nonstop from the time they put on their uniforms until the time they collapsed uh, the next morning. In the 90s, George says his group coined the term Angels Night, which became a citywide initiative, bringing hundreds of volunteer patrols into the streets. Having a community that's safe and clean, uh, where we can raise our family and our children, uh, that's something that everybody bought into. After more than 20 years of Angels Night, the fires were put out, and the initiative was officially retired by the city in 2018. The successful campaign forever changing Halloween in the city of Detroit. It used to be a time of terror. Uh, and now it's a time of celebration, people coming together and, and uh, enjoying each other's company and uh, really celebrating the rebirth of the city and its neighborhood. After ending Angels Night, the city launched Halloween in the D and on Halloween Day from 4 to 7 p.m., a number of fire stations will be passing out candy to children. Reporting on the west side of Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.